Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Wizard 101 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So in today's episode, we are going to be heading, heading in to the Tree of Life dungeon to finish up, um, well, finish up this portion of Mushu. There are a few things we got to do while we're in there. We got to look for a one of our oysters, the last of the oysters, actually. Um, we'll see where that. Um, I'm not entirely. I'm not. I don't exactly remember where it is, but we'll find it. There's a book to read, easy enough. And Oakheart has something for us to do. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Got to talk to the bridge guardian real quick. No. You mustn't cross the waters. I will not help. I can't stop. No! I cannot refuse. I will help you across. <laughs> All right. Now we are across. Let's see. How long does this dungeon take? You are about to oh, enter a dungeon. That's it? If you log out or leave for more wow. than 30 minutes, you will lose all the progress you have made in this dungeon and must start over. This dungeon takes around 45 minutes to finish. Shorter if you bring friends. Are you sure you want to enter this dungeon? That's not a whole lot of time. That's uh, a lot shorter than I thought. Whoops. Uh, hold on. I got the wrong pet equipped. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm working on. I'm working on another one. Uh, to. Eventually, because eventually, eventually, um, Princess Luna isn't going to be quite enough. The double double defense is great, but the uh, the critical I'm not going to need once we hit like levels 50 or 60. So, so she's doing a good job right now, but eventually I'm going to be switching over to name to be determined. But anyway, yeah, I'm working on that one, kind of in between things. You were about to enter. All right. Now we've got Princess Luna. All right, all right. Forty-five minutes. That's not going to take very long. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I guess yeah. It is kind of a kind of quick when you think about it. Because we have not a whole lot to do back here. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff back here, but I think that's more to do with Oakart than. Well, I guess I guess we'll find out. Anyway. Curses. Another barrier. Oni Nodeth has ruined the Tree of Life. We must enter the spirit world and challenge him there. I wish I could walk in your shoes, but your actions show that fate has chosen you alone to defeat Oni Nodeth. You must use the summoning candles to open a portal to the spirit world. Go now. I will see that no evil follows you. Okay, but where is, um... Where's Oakheart? He's a ways away is where he is. I'm gonna do a quick run around run around the structure because I think the oyster is like somewhere nearby. I might maybe on the other side. Yeah, maybe on the other side. Or maybe it's inside the structure. I just cannot remember for the life of me. Nope, but there is a black lotus, I'll take that. Oh, that's the... okay. <laughs> Alright, in we go. Let's see... For this, if you're if you're really not wanting to fight anything... Um, yeah, if you're really not wanting to fight anything, I'd say stick as close to the walls as you can. And be just be strategic about it. Just be a little strategic about like when you cross, when you're running. Uh, I think there are unique, there are some fish here that you can't get other places. I can't remember what. I know the um, yeah, I know the do the doodle fish are here, like the um, the male wizard doodle fish and the female wizard doodle fish. I think you can find them in the pool here. You can find them other places, but again, those that's just if you're interested in. That's just if you're interested in fishing. 
As you can see, my energy is a bit low, so I can't do that. But thankfully, they're actually in an area that's very easy to get to. So I am going to go find Okart first. I just want to do his thing. Um, yeah, I just want to do Okart's thing. Because it should be like fighting, fighting an optional boss, essentially. Is what he's going to have us do. So... So we're going to go talk to him real quick. It is going to make this dungeon probably a bit longer than it needs to be, but that's that's part of it. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, it looks like Okark's actually going to have a, probably a bit of a quest line for us in here. If what I'm seeing is accurate. Because, yeah, these little bits of earth, probably going to have to pick it up for him. Alright, there he is. Alright, let's, let's see what Okart's got for us. Creatures here took the last of our pure seeds, the future kindred of our Okart. These battle the creatures and return the seeds to us. Then perhaps the great forest can recover. Yeah, we're, like I said, we're going to do his quest line first. Um, it'll definitely it'll definitely increase the amount of time we're in this dungeon, but that's okay. But that is A-O-K in, in my book. 800, they are life enemies, so... Honestly, a single, yeah, a single blade is all I need with a AoE spell. Unless they set up a death shield. Jerks. Let's see. Um, I kind of want just to get one of them, get this over with for one of them. So let's get rid of you. Interesting. I probably won't be needing that, so let's just buff up as much as I can. Yeah, let's buff up as much as we can. we got instead of a curse instead of a curse and then I and then we'll um, hit it with a wraith I think that was 905. I think the thing, the thing still blocked, you know, 80% of our damage. Well, 78%, but... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's going to be one of these. Didn't get anything from them. Okay. So it's going to be one of these. Alright, sure. That just makes this a bit more annoying.
just a little more annoying, that's all. It's a death shot. Okay, good. Life I'd rather I'd rather avoid a death shield. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now we just need one more. All right, well, that's that's not helpful. That is. A critical on both of them. Just not quite enough. Alright, got what we needed. Thank you for returning our pure seeds. The great forest can begin anew. Help us once more, esteemed wizard. The pure seeds must be nurtured with earth and water. Plant them in the dirt pile so that the earth and water spirits can tend to them. This is also the reason I want to do that. It, it's the, it's you know, it's the conclusion of the kind of like fixing slash restoring the earth. Uh, storyline that's going on that goes on in Mushu. It's a you know it's a side side storyline, but it's it's important. It's important, and I, I I like I like that you get to see a conclusion of it. It's also like one of the first ones that has a storyline that continues throughout the entirety of of Mushu. Um, for the most part, for throughout the majority of of Mushu, you have because you know, you're talking to Ma to Mossback, and then you have Wavebringer for a little bit, and then you finish things off with, uh, with Oakart, which, I don't know, I, I, I like it. I like it, I think it's cool. I kind of wish, um, more worlds did that, where you had a, a reoccurring side quest giver. The Great Forest will continue to grow and thrive, thanks to you. We spirits wish to reward you for your efforts. Meet me in the Garden Dojo by the palace. Okay. Garden Dojo? Oh. Oh, oh! That's what that is. Okay, okay. Um, 
if you remember when, when we first when we first got to Mushu, I talked about how how there's an area of the map that has a a circle like it's supposed to like it's important like like it's an important area, and I could never figure out what that was. It has to do it has to do with Oakart. That's what it's for. Okay, that makes so much more sense. That's I can I don't I can't believe I forgot that. But anyway, that is Oakart's thing done until we can get to whew, until we can get to um, the Jade back to the Jade Palace. I'm looking for something. Okay, we're good on this side because the uh, the. Oyster, I thought, was somewhere around here, but maybe it's not. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look it up before we leave here where the oyster is. I'm trying to avoid them as much as possible. Because I don't I don't wanna fighting one of these guys would be a waste of time. Oh there it is. Yep, right through the middle. Let's see if I can get there without provoking a fight. Excellent. All right. And there it is, just in this complex. All right, here we are. So. And now we get to talk to this guy. The great Muda spoke of you and of your wish to heal the Emperor by using the fruit of life. Only no death has hidden in the spirit world and taken the portal summoning candles with him. To restore the tree of life, you must go after him. Many have asked much of you. I ask only for your faith. You must venture forth and find the bandit Nomunaga. He holds the dagger of shadows. You must take it from him. Your destiny awaits, revered wizard. Search the garden and return with the Dagger of Shadows. Shall be done. Alright. So we need to go... this way... I don't think I have to be quite as careful as I'm being, but when it comes to avoiding the combat, but I just I do not want to fight, get into a, a fight and waste time. So, all right, first boss encounter. Yeah, the members, the membership event going on right now is is double reagents. If you didn't notice. It must be a humbling to stand in my presence. Now remove yourself, or I will remove you. And he's a death boss, because of course he is. Ah, uh, shouldn't be too bad, I just need a prism. But that's all I got. We're, wow, okay. Uh, don't need one of don't need two of them, just need the one. That does mean that I can set up for it as much as I want now. Um, yeah, I'll do the faint. Okay. What I need, what I really need now, is a blade. Or. Yeah, or some blades. That's what I really need. It's gonna be a... Okay, an accuracy hit. Those are always fun. Um, there's always a chance that I get it, so... 
And we get it. Awesome. That's gonna hurt. And then him. Yeah. He's a storm. He's a storm. I could, I said I could really use some. of fools. Drops the Dagger of Shadows. Excellent. stairs I hate those stairs so much you have reclaimed the dagger thank you for your faith now plunge the dagger of shadows into the tree of life have no fear this will do no harm to the tree the dagger of shadows can open a portal into the spirit world and take you to only no death be careful as only no death is more powerful there than in this world. He will lie to strike despair into your heart. Do not listen. You have the strength to restore the tree of life. Go now. Use the dagger of shadows to open the portal to the spirit world. All right. Uh, right before we do that, I'm gonna do just a, just a small bit of fishing. I just, I just want to see what I can get. It'll just be one attempt, that's all. Let's see if I can grab this one. Just a single attempt. We got we got time. Though like like the other Onis that we fought, there will be a pig a pig demon warrior and then the and then the elephant demon. Oh, fabled. Okay. Fabled decoy. Okay. A portal suddenly rips open. And in we go. We gotta take on yeah, Kagimushu. Kagimusha first. And then Only No Death. Now the book should be in here as well. There it is. Yeah, War of the Clans. I see through all. You are but a giant full of fear. Here in the spirit world, your paltry magic has no power. We'll see about that. Alright. 
very similar to the last boss we fought. If I can get a, um, if I can set up, well, we'll see what we can do. What is this guy? Accuracy hit. Okay. That's gonna do nothing. is that even going to do? Will it tell me? And no. That's fine. Um, I'm going to test it. Hopefully we get this. Yeah, 36 damage. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. The, the last of the fire will trigger my 30%, which is ex which is good, which is really good for me. Um, really not pulling anything all that helpful here. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the of the servant or of the minion. Make this a two a one on one. As long as he's wasting his pips on low level stuff, I don't really mind. None of this is helpful. Because this guy's got to have some serious resistance to death magic. He has to. I mean, at this point, all I need, all I need is, is a, um, a death prism. Yeah, all I need is a death prism, and then we can take him out. I've got four of these things in my deck. Why aren't they showing up? See, I don't, I don't need these spells anymore. Um, fine. It'll be wasted because you know, that'll end up being wasted because the prism, will, a prism will trigger before that spell does. There we go. Let's do it. There we go. Excellent. Poof. Yeah, I'll take that full heal. Kajimusha falls back in defeat. From his body emerges a terrible creature. It is the Death Oni. Oddly enough, and oddly enough, he's actually a lower rank. Too late. The Tree of Life is already doomed. You cannot stop the tide of darkness. Surrender and know the cold hand of despair. Yeah, oddly enough, he is a lower rank, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty. He's got to have more health. 
Yeah, he's got to have more health than the last guy. Let's see. The other one had 1580. He's sitting at a cool 2000. Thank you. Start off with the with the death person. That means now anything I cast after this will tr will will trigger. Because I guess that's the way it works in terms of priority. The first thing you cast, um, yeah, like the first thing you cast will trigger last. Okay, that's a damage. That's that's fine. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Two thousand health. I definitely need a critical to take him out. Um. Let's go with Death Trap. So like that Death Trap will trigger before the prism turns the damage into life damage. So that's that's very nice. That's fine, only one of them will trigger. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, they do glow, they glow blue to show you that it's a, um... To show that it's a, um, an item card. Which is very helpful for keeping track of things. Okay. We're sitting pretty good. We're sitting pretty good with all of that. Um, that could have been worse. But that is a lot of damage. I'm gonna have to go for the cast. I'm gonna have to go for the spell now. Honestly, the heal would be would be better, but let's just do it. Come on, critical. Critical on the boss, please. Oh my god, beat it though. No critical. That's fine. That alone should be enough. Yeah, look at that. Excellent. And like most really important bosses, there is a there is a chest. I'm not gonna do it. Let us read the book. This book starts with years of infighting left the clans out of control. Emperor Mushu seized the power that was rightfully his by rallying the people against the corrupt clan leaders. Because Emperor Mushu was the first emperor to unite the entire country, people have called it Mushu ever since. Oh, well that makes sense. All right, well that is the death only taken care of. Let's see if there's anything left to do in here. I'm, I'm sure there is. Yeah, it's like, yeah, beating the Death Oni isn't like the last thing you do in this dungeon. Or, or they would have said it takes 30 minutes, not 15, or not 45. You have saved the Tree of Life, or maybe as it is. was foretold. I sense fate has given you a great destiny, which you have yet to fulfill. It is bigger than you can imagine. Take the tree's fruit and return it to the Emperor of this world. May the light always shine upon your path, young wizard. 
All right. Did we already, I guess, collect some of the fruit? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but still. All right, what's the easy way out of here? Back behind me. So no, that is that is the last thing you do. Yeah, very kind of a quick kind of a quick dungeon when you really, if you really stop to think about it. Yeah, that took us that took us about fifteen minutes to do. Uh, not counting, not counting the uh, Oakheart's little quest. So back to the Jade Palace. We do have a few things to do. So let's go ahead and let's see. And yeah, no other quests at the moment. Let's go talk to... Well, let's go talk to Prospector Zeke, since we've found all of the oysters. Let's go turn that into him. We do have one more book to find, but it's actually... It's in the Jade Palace itself. Thanks, pal. Them blue oysters need gathering up. Mushu ain't as nice as he used to be. I'll find a place for him, don't you worry. Be sure to look me up again if you wander the spiral. <laughs> Alright. That got us the Mushu Explorer badge. Nice. Let's go talk to Opart. Turn this one into him. And some of you might hate me for this, but I think that's where we're going to wrap things up. We're going to Oh, this isn't, no, this isn't where I thought it was. What I was saying is this area here, but no, this is something else. Yeah, no. It's this pagoda. There we go. We have all of our friends, Mossback, Wavebringer, and Oakheart. Many thanks, young wizard. The forest is now pure again. Forest grow. Forest clean. I dance. I rejoice. We thank you again, living creature. All right. And that is that. I don't think there's anything else. Nope. But like I said, I think I'm going to wrap things up. Um, because I do know what comes, like, immediately after this. Like, after we talk, well, I think I do. After we talk to, uh, Tan King Kang, he, you know, sends us into the Jade Palace. We do what we need to do there. And then, um, obviously we head back to Wizard City. But I kind of want the, the finale of what's about to happen to be in its own episode. I like, as you've probably guessed, I like, I like keeping, um, certain things to themselves self-contained the um like the major dungeons of the world i like keeping those to their own thing so yeah i think we're gonna i'm gonna wrap things up here in the next episode we'll talk to tan tell him that we have all the stuff go and then go into the jade palace or do or do what else whatever else he needs us to do so yeah stay tuned but anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted to the channel, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.